Okay, here is a whole list of practice problems dealing with antiderivatives. In each case, we're given the derivative. Note that this right here is f primed. So in every one of these, we're given a derivative, and we're told to find the function f, the function for which this would be the derivative. So we're going to anti-differentiate each of these. And these are fairly simple and straightforward, so we're going to go through these fairly quickly. f primed of x is 6x to the fifth, so f of x would have to be x to the sixth. And then we need to say plus c. And these are easy to check. You can just take the derivative of that, and of course, by the power rule, that's 6 times x to the fifth, which is that. Okay, number 2, f primed is 10x to the eighth, so f of x is going to be 10x to the ninth over 9 plus c. And check that, taking the derivative, uh, this is a constant, 10 over 9, so that would stay out front, and then we would have 9 times x to the eighth, and that 9 would cancel out the 9 down there, leaving us with 10x to the 8th. So that's good. x to the negative 7, that's um, a negative sign right there. f primed is x to the negative 7, so f of x is going to be x to the negative 6 over negative 6 plus c. And if you wanted to, you could write that as negative 1 over 6x to the 6th plus c. Either of those, either way to write it would be okay. And uh, let's do a few more. Number 4, f of x, f prime of x is x to the 1024. So f of x will be x to the 1025 over 1025 plus the constant of integration plus c. Number 5, f of x is x to the negative 242 or f primed, the derivative is x to the negative 242 so f of x is x to the negative 241 over negative 241 plus c. We raise the exponent by 1 and then divide by the new exponent. Okay, number 6, f prime of x is cosine x. So what function has cosine as its derivative? You should understand that that is the sine function. So f of x is sine x plus c.